Hi, I'm Enrique VT, and um, this is my YouTube channel where I talk about tech and stuff. And in this video, I'm going to rebox my MacBook Pro 14 inch because I, I filmed the entire unboxing out of focus. And I, I'm, so, I'm so salty about it. I'm just gonna rebox everything for you guys as I tell you about, you know, my whole journey with this thing. <laughs> Ugh, anyway. You know what? It's fine. It's not that serious. This was like this. Uh-huh. And then like that. Okay. And then this kind of wrapped around all of this. I can't I cannot believe I'm doing this, you guys. Oh, it fits. Okay. Okay. I got I'm gonna I'm gonna get this, you guys. I'm gonna gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna get frustrated. I'm not gonna get fr mm. Okay. I gotta breathe that. I'm just gonna leave it alone. I'm not gonna spend my time on all this. But hey, I, I I almost got it. Like, I pretty much got it. Boom, it fits. Okay, now, this is where the sticker pack goes. And then the, the MacBook goes here. Reboxed, reboxed. Okay, so I'm gonna put the lid back on. And I'm gonna pretend like, I'm unboxing this for the first time. Hi, Enrique VT here. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're unboxing the MacBook Pro 14 inch. <laughs> I've used uh, Windows my entire life. I never really liked Mac. I never knew my way around Mac. I always thought that Mac was just not straightforward and I just didn't feel comfortable in it. And the reason that I really was so anti-Mac is because I was so pro Windows. Um, I, I knew my way around it. I knew how to install it. I knew how to repair it. I knew how to do a lot of things with Windows. I've used them like, you know, like computer labs in school or whatever, but I've never actually owned one. So this is a big deal for me. Um, so let's go ahead and open the box, okay? Oh my gosh, so pretty. Look at the wrapper. Oh. So this is the MacBook. I'm gonna unwrap this again. I'll put this here for now. So I'm gonna show you some comparisons. Um, let me put this aside for now. I, this is what I'm coming from. I have a, I have a 15 inch MSI gaming laptop. This is what I've used primarily for the last three years. I dock it to an ultra wide monitor at my desk and uh, it's relatively thin for a gaming laptop. It's one of the first gaming laptops that had Intel six core chips. And so it runs pretty hot and it has like, it has two big fans and they can get pretty loud. Um, opening an app, I definitely gets into like preparing for takeoff mode where it's just so loud. So this is what I'm coming from. I'll show you the side, you know, some of the comparison views here. So this is how much smaller the 14 inch MacBook is gonna be. And this is gonna replace basically my MSI. Not replace totally, I'm not gonna get rid of this. I'm still gonna keep it because I play games on it. I, 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 I like this computer a lot, but so I'll, I'll explain why I am switching to a Mac. I took this computer with me on a trip recently. Every creator that was on this trip was using a MacBook. Every, like there's a picture on Instagram of everybody literally have, has a MacBook in their hand. Just the fact that they were using these for creation, for editing, for running a business that's about creating content. But what settled it for me was uh, we were at these meetings from like 10 o'clock to four o'clock, we were in this meeting room taking notes and my friend Daniel Sin, shout out to Daniel Sin, he was using a MacBook Pro, um, a MacBook Air 13 inch on the M1 and he had 100% when he got there in the morning. And then when we moved to the lobby, cause I was hanging out with him afterwards, <sighs> he lost like 7%. He was on 93% after just taking notes at this meeting all day, right? Meanwhile, me, MSI, at the meeting, plugged in the whole time, unplug it and move from the meeting rooms to the lobby of the hotel, restarted the computer once as soon as I sat down and I lost like 13%. I was like at 87 and I was like, I can't do anything mobily. I have to be tethered to like a wall. I was on my way there and I wanted to edit a podcast on this computer. 
and it was a full battery, but I couldn't, it, the battery didn't last an hour and it just died on me. And I was like, this, this really sucks. I was, I was getting the flow of it. And then I'm just like, why did this have to die right now? I would have plugged it in. The charging adapter for this laptop is 180 watts. So it couldn't pull power from the plane. So I couldn't charge this on the plane. And so I had to just wait until I got to where I was going so that I could plug it back in and work. And so that's pretty much what happened with that. It's much chunkier compared to this 14 inch Pro, right? And it's actually thicker as well. Very thick here on the MSI side. Now, I also want to compare it to another computer. This is a 14 inch Huawei Matebook X Pro. Now, this is a 2019 model, and this is, this. there's no way to sugarcoat it. This is a MacBook clone. This is exactly, looks like a MacBook. It runs Windows, it's made by Huawei. Um, so, I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like. It has the power button up here. Um, the function keys are small. But anyway, this ran Windows and it was nice. Very nice laptop, very thin. This is actually significantly um, lighter than the Pro. This had an Intel i5 and it had like discrete graphics. It worked okay for very basic things, but anything power intensive, you couldn't really do on this computer. This is an ultra portable. It's very light. It's very, um, it has a nice screen. It's great for watching stuff on actually, but, but not really like editing or graphic stuff for games. Like you couldn't really do that on this. And then like lugging this around, which is pretty big and heavy already, plus the big 180 watt charger, plus having to find a charging outlet. Like it's like, this is much more attractive for me now. And so that's why I am switching to Mac and I'm going to use this as my primary productivity device. I'm going to use this with my ultra wide monitor at my home desk. So I will be able to be fully productive. Wow, this is gonna take some getting used to. I, I literally just wanna close it. Oh, it's already closed. Okay, preferences. Siri, hey Siri. Oh, what's the weather? It's currently clear and 72 degrees. Ooh. Expect partly cloudy skies starting tonight and rain in the afternoon with mixed conditions for the rest of the day. Why does Siri sound like that? I don't understand why Siri sounds like that. Maybe the real voice hasn't downloaded. I'm just gonna give it that benefit of the doubt. I could be wrong. Um, so anyway, this is my first Mac computer ever. I have no idea about the gestures, about the shortcuts about the tricks and tips and the apps I need. So if you're a Mac user and you'd like to help me, please leave me a comment with your favorite apps, your favorite shortcuts, your favorite gestures, or just anything that makes your productivity easier. I'd like to hear about it because that would help me out a lot. I, I will be using this computer as my main productivity device for the next month, and I will be testing it under my workflow. How different is it from Windows? Am I gonna get used to certain things in Windows I'm not gonna have on Mac? So in any case, thank you again for watching and stick around, subscribe, and I will be making more content on the MacBook and just generally tech and stuff. So enjoy. To your listeners, PSA. If you're chatting with the green bubble, there's a human on the other side of that, just saying. Okay. Wise words from uh, Adam Dowd. Thank you. <laughs> Rare case of wise words. <laughs> Normally I'm just a dick, but okay. <laughs>